Hi everyone, welcome back. In episode 2 I showed you how I created my very first Trematic script and that felt like a very big win. But today I want to take it one step further. Can I chain my segmentation, planning and design process into one big script? Last time I picked one part of the workflow, the guide design. I analyzed the manual way of processing the cases and I structured my scripts. Eventually I could automate the guide design part of the workflow, which felt great. I could now focus on merging my segmentation and planning step into my design script. If I used to plan this training case manually, it would take me around 45 minutes. My goal was to do that faster, with clear guidance and minimal user input. Here are the steps. First, I need to create my 3D models. Then, I can start planning the cuts. Those models and cuts are used as inputs to create the cutting guides. In the final step, I can then validate the accuracy of my cutting guides on the medical images. This is where things got tough. Every step worked separately, but chaining them wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. I had some difficulties with naming consistency, but also setting up the external editor so both Mimic Score and Trematic could access my script was more challenging than anticipated. So I decided to call Arshum for some help. If you don't have an Arshum available, you can contact one of our application engineers or post your issue on a community forum. I'll post the link in the description. I would maybe add some print statements here and there. Now you can see where it goes wrong and now you can like immediately track it and then maybe ask ChatGPT to restructure your code a bit because uh, it does look a bit off. But uh, other than that, great, it's gonna work. Once we got that right, it ran smooth and saved me a lot of clicks. Not perfect yet, but it works and it's reusable. In the next episode, I will show the full script in action and I will share some of my conclusions as well as some tips for beginners. As always, if you have any ideas or questions, please drop them in the comments below. See you next time.